Hello, Imam Muhammad al Asi, and thank you very much indeed for joining us in this program. And a good day to you and yours. Uh, about a new poll in the United States showing that most Americans value privacy over anti-terror protections. Uh, well, your take on this, American citizens are saying that I guess they are not as concerned about the security now than actually their own privacy probably would say that they are not so concerned about external factors that usually they relate to terrorism as much perhaps as their own government. Well, to comment on that uh, news item or that survey that was done, uh, the American people are considered, they consider themselves a bastion of freedom. Uh, one of the states uh, in the Northeast has a uh, motto that says, give me freedom or give me death. Uh, what happened, though, after 9-11, there was a hype, a security hype, uh, that made the American uh, people feel that they are threatened. And ever since then, it's been right now, uh, we're talking about almost uh, 12 and a half years or so, uh, that hype, that official scare tactic that was pursued by the different agencies of the American government, particularly the media that has become a mouthpiece, basically, for um, uh, Washington officialdom, that uh, type of scare tactic is wearing out. And uh, the Americans are going back to their instincts and to their nature, which is one that loves freedom. Uh, and uh, the uh, government, I think, at this point, uh, because it has its hand on the pulse, is beginning to feel that uh, the American people are going back to their uh, state of nature, which is... Uh, freedom and uh, this security stuff uh, that you're we're living in a threat and there's going to be some type of bomb going off in New York City or in Manhattan uh, or someone carrying a suitcase with a no nuclear explosion and all of the, the rest of this uh, media uh, uh, propaganda is simply wearing off and the Americans are speaking their conscience they're speaking their internal selves on this issue, and they say they want their freedoms back. Uh, the security state, the police state that the U.S. government has, be, uh, has become is uh, getting on the nerves of uh, the American people. Uh, this is expressed in uh, harassment at airports. It is expressed in uh, the certain types of uh, frisk uh, procedures that are done in New York City and in other places. It is expressed in the uh, invasion of privacy by the National Security Agency, by the different federal agencies that are spying on Americans in uh, their telephone conversations, in the uh, email and Internet um, communication, in the, even in, the, in their bedrooms. Uh, they have right now drones that are being manufactured uh, that are the size of uh, hummingbees, uh, as they have drones right now in certain states. I know the state of Maryland uh, was in the news in this past week where it has authorized its skies to be open to drones. Uh, the infusion centers, uh, that is the police and intelligence agencies sharing information on American citizens, all of this it has gotten uh, on the nerves of the American public, the American people, the American population, yes. and they've had enough of it, and that's why this survey and likewise surveys are going to reveal in the near future the trend is rising, that uh, away with the security and police, uh, police state and back with the state of freedom and liberty. Uh, why isn't the, this program stopped immediately? Because not from a security perspective or financial perspective or any perspective, is it beneficial for the American people, and yet the program uh, continues? Well, you know, the, the problem is here, why these things cannot stop, come to a halt in an immediate sense, is because uh, there's a legislative process. Uh, there are laws here, and the problem here is that the American Congress is the Congress of lobbies and big money. It's no longer the Congress of, uh, of Main Street and... Uh, popular America. 
And uh, this is another area that has to, you know, uh, change. And I think uh, the next elections that are coming up, the midterm elections this year, and two years down the road, the uh, the big election cycle, all of these will reveal that the American people are no longer beholden to these two uh, uh, Republican and Democrat parties that have sold out the interests of the American people. I may remind uh, some of your listeners that for the first time in American history, 42% of those who are registering to vote are uh, registering as independents. 42% uh, are registered as independents. That is a no-confidence vote in the type of system that cannot overturn this type of police state uh, as a matter of the legislative priority. Uh, so I think uh, we're moving in the right direction. The only, com- the, uh, only apprehension I have uh, is that, uh, you know, the people who are running the show, the higher-ups, they have uh, a very good feeling for the American public. And if they did 9-11 or they had a, uh, a, a contributing hand into 9-11, they can do something as awful and return us back to the scare tactics and square number one where Americans are gripped by fear and the police state has a new lease on life. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us in this program, Imam Mohammed Al-Asi. Thank you.